Hey everyone, welcome again. It's Wilco here with another Ghost Recon Wildlands video for Ultra Super Mega. Don't forget you can get us on ultrasupermega.com.au. We've got our three podcasts over there that we host through the website. We've got our link to our Discord channel, so it's very active at the moment. If you're keen, jump on that. There's, well, I was just checking the other night, there's at least 46 active people on there at any one point of time, so conversations always happening. So definitely jump on the Discord if you can. Um, have some fun with us, come chat with us and play games with us through that as well. Um, but today we've got uh, just another video, I just wanted to quickly touch on how key planning is to clearing out a base, uh, in fact not clearing out a base uh, as you'll see at the end of this video. So um, if you don't plan and, and follow what you're going to do, you, look things can get hairy very quickly and generally it leads to death in this game, especially as you get up to the Yo, higher five star been, areas. So what you're going to do is, uh, I'm once again I'm playing on advanced, not extreme, I did start with extreme and it just got a bit frustrating as you got through, I was not able to concentrate too much so I just popped it back and that gives me the hot spots on the minimap mini as I keep on saying, uh, here I can plan out uh, what I can do because I'm going to definitely find out where every single person is so I can mark them, know where they are. Look, if I was super hardcore I'd probably take all this off and I'd just go in blind but look that's not me at the moment. I'll, I don't find that enjoying, enjoyable so I play the game how I like to play it which is sort of a little bit of assistance but if I make a mistake I generally know about it. So. Um, so what we're doing here is obviously using the drone as you all know but we're going to find every single person and we're going to try and get this intel up here which is a lieutenant so we're going to try and interrogate him for some information of this new province that I just moved to so this province um, is a three star province so I just want to get all the info first and then I'm going to start doing the the actual intel for the missions and then we'll work our way through it it's uh, one of the influence provinces so a little bit different we're chasing a DJ in this province um, and we're going to try and get him to give us all the information we can we can get uh, on the cartel so and hopefully then blackmail those guys and, and give them a bit of hurry up and get them out of Bolivia so um, what we do is we know where everyone is I spotted a spot down the lieutenant back of the buildings where I can probably get to this lieutenant he seems to be on his own so uh, my plan here is to just get in, interrogate him and get out of there. Um, I don't want to clear out this base, there's no incentive here to clear out this base at the moment. I may need resources and stuff later, which I'll go in and get them. There's weapon parts and things like that there as well. But I'm assuming this will be part of a mission or some other thing down the track. I just want that lieutenant right there. That's all I need. There's a car there ready to go for my escape plan. Or I, if I do it right, I can just jump over and, and sneak my way out. So I've got options. Always have an escape plan, as the famous Bond once said. Um, but like I said, all the heavy hitters are on the other side, away from this building. So it's prime for the picking right now. Um, just checking out, making sure there's no one inside. Definitely no one around. This should work fairly well. So... Um, like I said, it's pretty key in this Ghost Recon Wildlands to just make sure you know where you're going. Uh, you don't want any surprises. Surprises are bad. Um, I hope you're all enjoying it so far. I really am. I'm just starting to get into the co-op side of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Uh, I've only been playing it solo, as you can see with most of my gameplay videos so far. Um, but really, really enjoying it. The tactical side of it is a lot more, a lot better than I first thought it would be in uh, once I played beta. But um, that was to be expected. I think they've definitely ramped it up for the game, so that's pretty good. So as you can see, I'm pretty much here. I've got here undetected. I've got the lieutenant on him, on his own. He's going upstairs, so that's inside. So I've just got to make sure that's where he is. I've got eyes on there, so that's all good. He's going up to a place where he's on his own. I don't need to worry about anyone else. So if I do this right, I can sneak out the back door, and I'll be right. So. As you can see, my squad mates are still picking up people out there, so here we go. I've got to jump the couch, as you always do. Very bad placement of a couch, I must admit. I definitely wouldn't put it there, but anyway. But now he's going out the balcony. I've got a decision to make here. Do I go out 
grab him and get out of there, which I've got my car I can do, which I decided to do. So in front of everyone, we'll interrogate him on the balcony and we'll see how we go. So I get my uh, medallions location, I get shot at, and we retreat. Like I said, I can jump over the back here and probably try and get out of here fairly easy enough, but hey, there's a car. Let's have a fun escape plan. They've set the alarm off too, so the, uh, the, the, the proverbial is really at the fan, and I can't drive that well, so here we go. My boys will give me a little bit of support, but look, that's it. I had my plan, got in there, got out of there. Just make sure you are uh, definitely marking all your targets, knowing where everyone is, and making sure you've got a backup plan if things go wrong, or make sure you've definitely got the way in or out, and you don't have to kill anyone. That's the great part of this game, the part I'm really enjoying, you can do it however you want. I could have cleared out everything, that would have been fine, but I decided not to. So that's it. If you're liking these videos, like, share, subscribe, it'd be great. Uh, otherwise, look, hit us up on our website, as I said, and hit me up on Twitter. Uh, definitely send me some tweets, Wilco's Chill Zone. That'd be great. Follow me if you could, that'd be awesome. And we'll catch you in the next Ghost Recon Wildlands video sometime soon. Uh, catch us, bye.